I get it. That doesn't mean you have a right to drag a guy's name through the mud who I think is one of the most respected and respectable guys I've ever come across in the media. His resume speaks for itself. How do you call him a condescending prick? Gordon Eads? What has Gordon said ever that's condescending? What has he ever done to anyone other than do his job to the utmost professional level? Which I can't say for Toucher and Rich. I can't say for the level they sunk to this morning. When they had to find that guy, that whipping boy, to make this little bit go. When they didn't need it. They didn't need it. They could have just said, hey, look, we wanted to have a fun little thing with Bobby. It didn't work. Bobby didn't take the bait. So be it. But I feel horrible for Gordon Eads. That he has to go and read some of these posts that are on ESPN Boston right now are flat out disgusting. It shouldn't be shocking. I mean, it's the Barstool sports crowd. I mean, it's the same thing. I mean, people writing disgusting things about guys they have never known. Gordon's a family man. Gordon's a, a really good, good guy that if you talk to him personally, you'd be like, wow, that guy is nothing like I thought. I know you've come across condescending people in the media, Justin, because I have too. Does that word describe Gordon Eads? No, Gordon's one of the best that, that you'll ever come across. There's no doubt about it. He is one of the best. It's horrible. It's sad. It's low. And I, I get to say it today simply because Gordon won't. And he shouldn't have to because he's above this. But that's the point. Uh, that, that speaks volumes of who he is. He's yeah. not going to respond. Go down into this level. He won't respond to it. He won't even come close to uttering. And I am, I'm assuming when Gordon goes to the ballpark tonight, someone's going to ask him a question about Listen, it. The, someone's going to go, Gordon, it might be the New York media because the New York media wrote about it. They're like some idiot from Boston was asking Bobby Valentine, should he come back? The question, again, the question, I don't like the question. It's a fan question. It's what a fan would ask, and it's from a fan. But if you're going to ask it, one, you don't ask it first, okay? It's just stupid. Let the thing warm up a little bit, all right? Take the girl to dinner first, okay? Then identify it as Bobby. I host a radio show. I have a fan who asks a question of us to ask a question of you. Would it be all right if I ask you that question? Knowing that it's not from me, said media member. I'm not this stupid. I'm going to actually ask it because I'm, gonna, I'm a media member. I'm not a fan. I'm a media member here representing my audience, and my audience would like to know the answer to this question. I think Bobby would go okay. Not out of the gate, <laughs> not after losing, you know, what, one out of his first nine games in September and the Yankees are in town and the full media of the, of the Yankees and the Red Sox are together. That's stressful. There's a lot of people in that room. This is not a one-on-one -on -one interview. This is a lot of people are around and you're asking him a question of, you suck. The fans think you suck. Why should you come back? Bobby, for whatever reason, kept his cool. Didn't buy into the bit. He could have, and then they would have gotten uh, what they wanted. He probably knows better at, now, at this point. But So because know. they didn't buy, because Bo Bobby didn't bite, let's torch Gordon Eats. Unbelievable. Again, sometimes, I'm sorry, sometimes you have to be here to get it. Sometimes you have to be from here to get it. And if you aren't from here, you don't know who Gordon Eats is. Gordon Eats, as they called Gordon Eats, a blogger? Gordon Eads is a blogger? Are you kidding me? Right. A blogger? What? Gordon Eads has been covering the Red Sox before we knew what the word blog meant. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's unbelievable to me to call him a blogger.